Hey there YouTube, it's Math Boy with some Black Friday purchase recap videos. Well actually it wasn't even Black Friday, it was before Black Friday, but I purchased seven autographed 8x10s from Mainline Autographs and truthfully I would have bought a whole lot more but I tried to hold myself back a little bit. I just bought the stuff that was on their hot deal section. And I purchased an autographed baseball from Total Sports Enterprises, which I'm not going to hint at it in the title, but don't ship a baseball this way. I'll show you what I mean. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you. These are all seven of these. Now, there were six bucks a piece plus six dollars shipping plus tax. It came out to like um, 40 52 Divide that by seven. I paid almost $7.22 per autograph photo, which is a great deal. And like I said, uh, I could have gone back and bought twice as many. This was a slight regret purchase because the one the picture had the inscription but had the full sig. This one has a short sig, but that's okay. Steve Blast, 1971 World Series champion. Ooh, we got some awkward lighting going on here. That's all right. It's sunny outside. I'll take it. We got Bill Madlock as a member of the Cubs. Well, it's still a cheap Bill Madlock autograph, and Bill Madlock had a heck of a career. Him and Al Oliver and Dave Parker don't get enough credit. They really don't. John Matlack. I do not have him in my collection. He uh, pitched Clemente's 3,000th and final hit. So, yeah, I'm adding that to my collection. Like, these were obvious ones to add to the collection. Like, the Steve Blass was borderline, but with the inscription, okay, I'm going for it. Because I do like Steve Blass. I could not believe this was only $6. Maybe because the... Maybe because it ends a little bit sloppy, maybe. But we got Fred McGriff, the crime dog. 1994 All-Star Game MVP. When the All-Star Game was held at Pittsburgh. Oh, crap. Larry Brown. Now, this one has another authentication to it. Whatever. Um, yeah, Neil O'Donnell kind of made this guy famous by throwing some passes right to... Uh, okay, let's keep going. But I don't have my collection. It's fitting. We got Frenchie Fuqua. Pretty cool little photo right there, actually. And to finish it off, my seventh photo from their Hot Deal section. We got Hall of Famer Tom Mack with the Hall of Fame inscription. That's a good deal for those. Really, it is. I kind of regret not buying more. I mean, I always could. But, um, so then I purchased some specials from Total Sports Enterprises, who, you know, that they do a lot of good stuff. Autograph signs and whatnot. Now, here's the problem. I mean, I purchased this autograph baseball. I know I shouldn't complain, but for anyone out there, no, they shipped it in this box in a brand new UV coated Ultra Pro top load or baseball cube, which is actually a bit of a mistake. I've seen plenty of times online where, you know, people say, don't ship in the cubes, especially those newer model ones from Rawlings. But, you know, you leave it susceptible to damage like this. But the thing that was really bad was. As soon as I saw that the cert was inside the cube, I'm like, crap. Could rub off some of the ink onto it or whatever. I mean, you can see from this cube where the ball had been rubbing. You can see on the cube where the ball had been rubbing up against it. A little faint dot right there. Trying to point it out right there. But that card brushes up against it, or the prongs inside brush up against it. You can see that there's a little bit of a smudge on the S and that the left top left of the V. May not show up much on camera, but I can fix that just a tad. So, uh, yeah. It's annoying that it happens. Now, I'm just trying to hit the very edge of it. If I don't clean it off much at all, I'm okay with that. That's about all I can do with it. I can't mess around with that S, though. I mean, maybe on the outside a tad. But I don't want to really mess with it. So, still a good deal. It was a good deal. So I'm glad to have it in my collection. So we got Andy Van Slyke. And it is Beckett Authenticated. They stopped doing their own TSE authentications when they would have their own signs. They would bring in Beckett, you know, which is awesome that they would do that. So there we go. We got Beckett 
for um, Beck Authentic Kid, Andy Van Slyke on a gold glove ball, along with seven photos. That's a good video. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I uploaded a TTM video on Mondays, and I upload autograph or trading card videos such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.